If you work in marketing automation and are looking for a solution from Salesforce, choosing between Pardot or Marketing Cloud can feel like choosing a side. They're both strong tools with their own distinct features, but what are the actual differences between them? That's why we're here to tell you. Hi, I'm Lucy Maslon, former Pardot consultant and Salesforce marketing champion, and now Operations Director at Salesforce Ben. Our mission is to help you advance your Salesforce career so whether you're just starting out or have a few years under your belt, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our extensive resources on salesforceben.com and The Drip. In this video, we'll discuss the key differences between Pardot, now known as Account Engagement, and Marketing Cloud, debunk some myths, and help you decide which tool is best for you and your business. You'll hear the same story during marketing automation platform comparison. Is Pardot or Marketing Cloud better? Well, it's not that simple, as you have to understand what they both do and what makes them different. Both tools appear to have some similarities on the surface. To add to the confusion, Pardot was renamed Marketing Cloud Account Engagement in 2022. Dig deeper and you'll find that Marketing Cloud and Pardot are distinct from one another. If you're confused, you're not alone. When I worked as a Salesforce Marketing Automation Consultant, frequently asked questions included, do Marketing Cloud and Pardot do the same thing? Is Pardot a part of Marketing Cloud? Is one the dummies version of the other? In other words, is one the low budget, small business, no technical skill option? The answer to all of the above questions is no. Doing a Google search is bound to confuse you even further. Yeah, it's a lot, right? Let's break it down so it's easier to understand. Before we break down the differences, it's important to understand what each tool actually does. Salesforce describes Pardot, account engagement, as a tool that powers your marketing and sales success by improving alignment between teams, driving and nurturing new leads. Used mainly for considered purchases, where there are long sales cycles and multiple decision makers. That's why Pardot is often referred to as a B2B marketing tool. On the other hand, Marketing Cloud helps you to inspire action and loyalty by humanizing every moment for each customer. Power every interaction from ads to email to e-commerce, social, service and more. It's better suited for transactional purposes across multiple marketing channels. So Marketing Cloud is often referred to as a B2C marketing tool. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what makes them different. Pardot is strong in supporting lead generation, lead scoring, lead assignment, and lead qualification, all to ensure that the time your sales reps are spending with prospects will be worth their time. Alongside this, it's also very useful for email nurture campaigns, content marketing, webinar marketing, and account-based marketing to a degree. Marketing Cloud specializes in real-time messaging, cross-channel marketing, mobile marketing, social media engagement, display advertising, and e-commerce. It exists as a more multimedia, multi-platform tool, which gives users tons of possibilities. It's also important to note that Social Studio, Marketing Cloud's social media listening product, is scheduled for retirement. Check out the related guides on the trip for more. Pardot is not industry specific. It's valuable for any B2B organization with long sales cycles consisting of multiple conversion points or pipeline stages. Marketing works well for a range of industries, especially retail, FMCG, health and beauty, travel and leisure, and more. If we look at the skills required to use both tools, this is where the difference starts to get a little starker. Starting with Pardot again, it's important to note that it's designed as a what you see is what you get platform, making it fairly simple to navigate. If you want to do what Pardot was specifically designed to do, you can get to grips with it pretty quickly. This being said, it is normally managed by a Pardot specialist working as the Pardot admin. If you want to go beyond the standard setup, the cookie cutter use cases, then you reach the remit of highly specialized Pardot consultants. Pardot is aligned closely with Sales Cloud with a bi-directional sync, which means that it talks to many of the standard Salesforce objects, such as leads, contacts, opportunities. Pardot has now taken it a step further as well and now uses the same campaigns as you do in the Pardot app. Other marketing objects like emails, landing pages, 
are also built on the core platform. Some of your Pardot database does still exist off platform though. Salesforce Marketing Cloud is not built on the core Salesforce platform. Instead, connectors are used to sync data bidirectionally between the two, but not talking to as many objects in Salesforce as the Pardot connector does. Once you realize how much power Salesforce Marketing Cloud has, you can understand why it's deserving of its own architecture. For even more comparisons, head over to the link in the description below to read our article on Pardot versus Marketing Cloud. There are a few questions that people tend to ask on these tools, including a couple of myths too. You wouldn't think that two marketing tools would have so much to talk about them, but here we are. You can thank us for our myth busting laser. Is Pardot a part of Marketing Cloud? Well, kind of. It depends on how you think about it. Pardot isn't built on the same architecture as Marketing Cloud. It's its own platform and partly on the core Salesforce platform. Despite being renamed Marketing Cloud Engagement, the two do not function together nor are sold together. Marketing Cloud still exists on its own, not on the core Salesforce platform. They are, however, marketed under the same brand umbrella as Marketing Cloud. They do both entail a separate license cost though, and are not directly connected. Pardot is an email marketing tool. Sure, the primary marketing channel Pardot handles is email. However, you would be a fool to conclude that Pardot only handles mass mailing. Pardot is designed to automatically segment your database in line with prospect behavior and what's happening in your CRM. You can combine these data points and only send emails when relevant. That's where you get value out of Pardot and justify its price tag. The tools available in Pardot for social posting, SMS and things like that are not as fully fledged at your fingertips as they are in Marketing Cloud. Remember that Marketing Cloud has dedicated studios and builders for each marketing channel. So another myth for you, Pardot is for organizations with smaller budgets. While it's true that Pardot has a lower license price point, it's really not as simple as that. Organizations of all sizes and budgets use Pardot. Unfortunately, though, some organizations are tempted by the lower price point and will automatically opt for Pardot for this reason alone, rather than considering Marketing Cloud. These organizations may find that they spend more time and money on customizations and integrations in the long run. The saying, don't count corners, is very true in this instance. Pardot is for non-technical teams without technical resources in-house. As I mentioned earlier, Pardot has been designed to be what you see is what you get. This keeps users from delving under the hood, which makes Pardot harder to break. Keeping it running smoothly will require some kind of Pardot specialist, even if they do operate on a declarative, clicks not code, basis. Marketing Cloud has a range of builders and studios, some of which require specialization. Data management in Marketing Cloud is more complex than in Pardot, often requiring development knowledge. Having said that, once Marketing Cloud is set up in line with all the data sets, segmentation, ETL activities a marketing team needs, it can be used by a non-developer quite comfortably. To conclude, the time required to learn Pardot is far less than Marketing Cloud. The next question now is, can you use both Marketing Cloud and Pardot together? And the answer is yes, you can use them together if you have the budget to spend. It's usually a case of organizations don't have the budget for both, and so they'll shoehorn processes they would have implemented in the other platform into the one platform they've chosen. Organizations do have the budget for both, but aren't aware they need both. If you identify the use cases, then it's worth considering using both solutions, but try not to get carried away with the shiny new toys. There are ways to adapt Pardot for B2C marketing. That's one project I worked on, I don't recommend it. And there are ways to adapt Marketing Cloud for B2B marketing. As I said before, don't simply choose Pardot for its cheaper price tag if you know deep down you have B2C use cases. So you've made it this far, and now you understand the differences between Marketing Cloud and Pardot. Which one is right for you though? When asking yourself this question, consider a couple of things. Does your organization have considered purchases where there are long sales cycles and multiple decision makers? If so, use Pardot. Is your sales process managed with leads and sales source opportunities? Use Pardot. Does your organization have transactional purchases across multiple marketing channels and e-commerce? Use Marketing Cloud. Still unsure? 
There are plenty of Salesforce consultancies that will be able to advise you further. Finally, try not to make quick rash buying decisions. Go into the evaluation stages of your Pardot Marketing Cloud project with your mind clearer on the factors you should be considering. Is it a case of Pardot versus Marketing Cloud or Pardot and Marketing Cloud? Now that you understand more about the differences, we hope to see you around on the drip, powered by salesforcebend.com.